Welcome to the tutorial about how we export and import FBX files from Blender into Unity. Keep in mind that our workflow may not fit in your situation. But nevertheless, I think you can learn something anyway. In this tutorial, I'll explain the most important FBX export settings in Blender and how the FBX files are imported into Unity. Also, I'll go through some things that might go wrong during that process. Okay, let's jump into the video. Step 0. The setup of the rig. The only important thing in our Blender file is the armature. There we have our skeleton with all bones, control bones, deformed bones, IK, FK bones, etc. But also the necessary meshes became children of the armature during the rigging process. When you create a cube for example, Hit Ctrl P and select Armature Deform with Automatic Weights. The cube mesh is automatically sorted into the armature. With this setup, animating the character is pretty straightforward. For each character, we have only one Blender file with multiple actions. So in the dope sheet, you can see a bunch of animations which are exported all at once. That's really handy and it makes exporting new animations easy and fast. Step 1. Export FBX. We want to export the weapon mesh separately. That's why we select everything except the stuff mesh. In my opinion, the most reliable way to do this is by changing into the object mode and deselect everything by hitting A. Then hold Shift and select the meshes first. The armature comes last. With everything selected, go to File, Export, FBX. On the left bottom corner, you can see the export settings. The main tab. Since we've pre-selected the things to export, check selected objects. If you specified a unit scale, make sure that the little button here is toggled. With the toggled button, the scaling is preserved in Unity. With the button untoggled, the scaling within Blender is ignored and the mesh is exported in its original size. Apply scaling, forward and up are set correctly by default. Select armature, then hold shift and select mesh. Leave the other settings as they are. The geometry tab. If you have modifiers like subdivision surface attached to your meshes and want those to be exported, then check apply modifiers. Some modifiers allow to define different settings for view and render mode for performance reasons. Uncheck Use modifiers render settings to use the view settings or check it to use the render settings. Here is what the results look like. The hair has hard edges. That one has view settings applied. This time the hair is much smoother. And the last one uses render settings. It is slightly smoother than the previous one. The armature tab. You can check only the form bones to make the exported file a little bit smaller. In our case, there is not much difference, but I personally prefer to check that option anyway. If add leaf bones is checked, Blender appends a final bone to the end of each bone chain. In Unity, you can see that compared to the original rig, there are additional transforms appended to the end of each bone chain. Leave the other settings as they are. The animation tab. If you want to export animations, you have to check baked animation. I would recommend you to check key all bones and force start end keying. Otherwise you may end up with strange animations in Unity. It is true that unchecking force start end keying leads to much smaller FBX and build sizes. But you can reach the same and better results with avatar masks in Unity. So this isn't worth the risk of having distorted animations. I'll explain avatar masks in a second. If you want to export all actions of your model, check all actions and uncheck NLA strips. Then in Unity you have the full range of animations available. But if you want to only export a selection of actions, 
you need to do the following. Open the Action Editor and the NLA Editor. Make sure that there are no NLA strips. You can delete the strips by selecting them and pressing delete. Now select the animation to export. Press the double arrow button in the NLA editor to generate a new strip for the selected animation. Repeat this for all the animations you want to export. In the export settings in the animation tab uncheck all actions and check NLA strips. That's how you can export only a subset of animations. If you are satisfied with the settings, save a preset by clicking on the plus button and by giving it a descriptive name. Step 2. Import FBX into Unity. I recommend you to always import or re-import the FBX file via the explorer. For example, if you want to update an existing mesh, right click on it and select show in explorer. Now overwrite the recently exported FBX with the old one. That way your model is updated but the carefully adjusted import settings in Unity are kept. I don't want to go deeply into every possible setting but want to mention those which may be useful. In the model tab you can change settings that affect the mesh and its normals. Here you can adjust the base scaling of your object. The size of the mesh changes whereas the scaling of the transform component in the scene remains the same. If your light maps aren't displayed correctly, you may need to check generate light map UVs. In the rig tab you can choose between a generic rig and a humanoid rig. When using a generic rig you can also specify a root bone to enable root motion. Check out our tutorial about that. In the animation tab you can specify the loop and root motion settings for each animation separately. You can add timed events that execute functions in your scripts based on the animation. Or with curves you can animate other custom properties like the emission rate of a particle system. And lastly, in the Materials tab, you can import the materials from Blender, extract them so that you are able to change the settings, and remap them if you want to use existing materials in your project. Step 3. Optimization with masks. Working with our rig is really easy, but there's a problem. All types of bones like the form bones, control bones and visualization bones are mixed together. This blows up the FBX file dramatically because the bones that aren't necessary for the deformation of the mesh are also exported. Thankfully within Unity you can mask those bones so that they are not included in your builds. To do that right click in the project view, select create and avatar mask. Since we are importing a generic rig, fold out transform. Choose the avatar of your imported character and click import skeleton. Uncheck everything in the transform list. Check all bones which are responsible for the deformation of the mesh. In our case, those are all child bones of the hips raw bone. Select your mesh in the project view and switch to the animation tab. Under mask, select copy from other mask and specify the mask we've just created. Do that for each animation and hit apply. Great! When we compare the size of the build using masks to a build where no masks are used, the difference is really big. Step 4. Troubleshooting. Importing FBX files works great in most cases. It happened a few times that newly added animations aren't displayed in the clips list, but interestingly they can be selected in the source take dropdown. If that happens, 
add the animation manually by pressing the plus button and changing the source take to the new animation. Let's go back to Blender. Be very careful when you're deleting bones that have been already animated. For example, let's add a new bone for demonstration purposes. Switch into pose mode and keyframe the location of the bone. Back in edit mode, delete the bone again. As you can see, the keyed location is still visible in the dope sheet, but underlined with a red color. If you don't delete those broken lines in the dope sheet, it may happen that the animation isn't exported at all and therefore can't be used in Unity. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I could clarify the exporting and importing process of FBX files a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Did you like it? Please support us on Patreon, join our weekly newsletter and at least give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. It's your sensei.